Hello, this is Darshini again and uh, it's March 20th and I decided to do a quick update um, because of what I'm seeing and this is because of the earthquake that we just experienced, well we didn't, uh, Mexico did near Acapulco and that was a 7.4. Obviously there's been uh, quite a few aftershocks there too but um, I did predict this um, some time ago. All right, what we're going to do is actually go back into America, and that's why I'm doing this. Um, and here we go. We have been, um, as I've seen, a lot more activity here uh, with the, uh, all the uh, earthquakes happening in the last few months, actually. And um, actually, it's pretty low today. Uh, but basically, because of that lower earthquake in Mexico, um, Sorry, let's apologize about this. Let's get back in here. And because of, let's go to worldwide and then you can see it better. All right, so because of this earthquake here, and obviously the, this is going to be affected, but it's really, um, I just want to explain what I'm seeing and um, you know, obviously I'm not a volcanolo volcanologist, but um, it's going to affect America quite a bit in the next few months. Uh, so let's just go back to USA. And here is what I'm seeing. As I said, there is, because of the lower age, there's been, and what I call a lower age. Done. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay. So um, basically there's a lower age here formation and as I said there would be far more uh, occurrences or increasing occurrences of earthquakes in the east coast and that lower age Texas and throughout this area and it is occurring here too uh, not so much in Yellowstone which I know a lot of people are thinking it is going to it will increase but not so much until really it's in this area that the actual increase is going to be we are going to have more significant earthquakes here uh, Seattle and actually a bit more into towards Alaska, Canada. Uh, so be warned about that. Um, darn, I'm so sorry. Okay, let's go back again. All right, so um, basically what I, because of this earthquake down below here, um, what's happening, happening is actually it's a subduction zone. So what's going on is the Pacific plate hitting the northern plate and it's going underneath. So it's actually pushing the northern plate. And that's what, if you're looking this way, what's going on is the plate is hitting underneath um, that plate. So it's actually moving it that way. Um, so what happened, what I'm seeing, and it is going to happen in the next few months, uh, three tops four, but really within the next three months, you may be experiencing far more uh, significant earthquakes and it's going to, I know it's a bit strange, we're going to go back to old worldwide here for a bit, and we're, um, it's more to do with, um, let's put it down a bit. Okay, so because of that, that's happening, and what I'm seeing is, it's actually, even though you think it's going this way, but I'm seeing it going that way. And so the actual plate did not move this way it's there was a slight angle to it and because of that Mexico is going to obviously experience far more in this section but it's going to affect this region of America so expect more not exactly on the east coast um, completely but more oh, hello back to America um, more here in this in this kind of angle okay so it's from here to here it is going to destabilize a few more here uh, which are um, obviously not that stable on this line um, of the fault line but it's really going to affect and move things this way okay so really you will exp you're going to experience far more earthquakes in this vicinity all right and that's it really um, and it will go into Canada a bit more um, for that. So I apologize um, for all the ums. I know it annoyed somebody. But anyway, uh, that's
that's what happens when you just speak off the cuff and not have a prepared speech which is not what I do I obviously just get it from uh, straight from spirit so hopefully that will help a few people as you can see we are experiencing far more we are going to experience far more earthquakes down here larger sizes not so much I know a lot of people are concentrating on salt and sea yes there are but I do see a continuous increase here and as we move towards Las Vegas and Reno uh, again in this area is what I'm seeing towards um, in that kind of tri um, sorry yeah tri not triangle uh, oblong where you're going to experience more of that section and up here towards Oregon and here not so much San Francisco which I know a lot of people have been saying there are but it's more up north okay well that's the quick update and um, if you would like to also check out the uh, quick video I did as a, an addendum to the what I called clarification period which we're in um, if anybody has actually been experiencing what I had uh, foretold and a lot of emails and um, little articles have been t sent to me regarding uh, certain accidents and computers blowing up and car crashes and that will be actually um, associated with the previous period which by the way we are still in that funk so if you're getting still kind of days you know you're not going to be free of depression but you will have less days or less intensity of days of depression so be warned about that please uh, I cannot fix it it is something is a process if you believe in what I'm trying to show you uh, and of course you know the tornadoes will continue we were e early season as I said but that will go on and complete too in cycle uh, I'm afraid we haven't completed that um, regarding we are going to be seeing far more tornadoes in this corridor here and again towards the east coast more towards the east coast and sporadic ones all over the place hawaii san francisco east coast in certain areas northern carolina you know california sorry carolina in there uh, these weird water spouts or mini tornadoes all right and that's it hopefully that will help a few people you're more than welcome to uh in actually add your comments but please be warned i've said this in two videos now you will not be put on if you're going to have some stupid remarks um, I have low tolerance for that um, I may be, it may be wrong but I don't care uh, if you're going to be um, just derogatory and insulting which is really worse to those people who really are needing information like this it is not going to be get posted don't even bother to type it up um, the young ones can um, if they're so inclined just to uh, make a mockery of it please go somewhere else um, and um, it it's not going to do you any good it'll only backfire on you all right good luck to you and all and hopefully that information is good take care and best of luck bye